After the Battle of Yavin, Luke Skywalker gained notoriety as the pilot who destroyed the Death Star. But there were 13 other pilots that joined him in the attack, most of whom gave their lives. Today we'll be talking about the unsung heroes of the Battle of Yavin, the members of Red and Gold Squadrons. Red leader was Garvin Drace. He was from the planet Viru Jansi, where he served alongside Antok Merrick as part of the Rarified Air Cavalry until they fell under the control of the Galactic Empire. They were offered positions in the Imperial Navy, but both he and Merrick joined the Rebel Alliance instead. Drace took part in the Battle of Scarif, where he first saw the Death Star. Shortly after, he participated in the Battle of Yavin, where he was shot down by Darth Vader. Red 2 was Wedge Antilles, who I would hardly consider an unsung hero, but we're still going to cover him. He was once an Imperial pilot that defected about two years before the Battle of Yavin. He did not participate in the Battle of Scarif, although he was present on Yavin at the time. He was one of the three survivors of the Battle of Yavin, and he went on to continue fighting the Empire, taking part in the battles of Hoth, Endor, Kashyyyk, and Jakku. Red 3 was Biggs Darklighter, the man with the mustache who should need no introduction. He grew up with Luke on Tatooine until he left for the Imperial Academy. He defected after his graduation and joined the Rebellion. As far as we currently know, the Battle of Yavin was his first mission, and he was killed providing cover for Luke. Red 4 was John D. Brannon. He was killed dogfighting above the Death Star. Red 5 was, of course, Luke Skywalker. He's not unsung, and if you don't know his story, you're probably confused as hell watching this video, so go watch Star Wars instead of this. What are you doing? Red 6 was Jek Tono Porkins. He was originally from the planet Bestine, and he flew with the Tyrfon Yellow Aces before joining Red Squadron. He was the first casualty of the Battle of Yavin. Red 10 was Theron Nett. He was killed covering Red Leader during their attack run. Reds 7, 9, and 11 are not shown in the film. However, Pablo Hidalgo confirmed that Red 9 was Nazo Natan, who flew as Red 9 during the Battle of Scarif. If that logic holds true, Red 7 would be Harb Binley, and Red 11 would be Raylo Sorel, both of whom also debuted in Rogue One. Moving on to Gold Squadron, they were led by Gold Leader, Captain John Dutch Vander. He was from the planet Onderon, where he served in the Imperial Navy before defecting. He was part of a mission to escort Mod Mothma to Dantooine, where she urged individual rebel cells to unite against the Empire. He fought in the Battle of Scarif, and was killed during an attack run down the Death Star's trench during the Battle of Yavin. Gold 2 was Dex Tyree, who was killed during the same attack run. Gold 3 was Avon Verlaine. She was born on Alderaan, and was mentored by Queen Breha Organa herself. She fought in the Battle of Scarif and was the only Y-Wing pilot to survive the Battle of Yavin. She then joined Leia Organa on a mission to rescue surviving Alderanians before they could be arrested by the Empire. She continued to serve Alderaan and the New Republic after the Battle of Endor and was instrumental in the Battle of Kashyyyk. Gold 5 was Davish Pops Krail. He was originally from Dantooine and was killed shortly after Tyree and Dutch. Those are the only four Y-Wing pilots that we know of for sure, but we also know many more took part in the battle. Again, to go back to Pablo Hidalgo's tweet, we might know that Gold 6 was Brace Marco, Gold 7 was Gazdo Wolkob, Gold 8 was Dachi Creel, and Gold 9 was Wona Goban. If that's all true, we can assume that none of them survived the Battle of Yavin. But that's everyone that we currently know participated in the destruction of the Death Star in canon. Who's your favorite member of Red and Gold Squadrons, and why is it Biggs? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.